Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to be able to make a humidity and temperature sensor that logs time and saves it into the into the SD card, which is completely deployable, and you can plug a power bank into it, and it's gonna run for quite a while. I think two or three days. Okay, so first the components we need, we need a RTC module. For this one, I'm using a. I'm using a DS3231 module and it has a temperature sensor in it, but we're not going to use that temperature sensor. An SD card module, a humidity and temperature sensor. This is where we're going to take the data of the temperature and humidity from. And one diode, LED, sorry, and one resistor. If I'm not mistaken, this resistor is a 220 ohm resistor, but you can use up to 1K. You, you also need 17 pairs of wires This breadboard, you can use any breadboard, but I chose this as it can sit nicely on top of the Arduino board, the Arduino Uno board And optionally, if you'd like, you can also add a LCD screen to actually display the data you're taking right now, live Okay, so before we start From this breadboard, on the bottom right side I'm going to designate one row as a ground and one row as 5 volts from the Arduino. Alright, so I am going to start with the SD card module. I'm going to plug it into the top right corner of the board, of the breadboard. And now I am going to connect all these wires into the Arduino. But first, before I connect everything, I'm going to connect the the VCC and ground into the designated spots for the 5 volts and ground. So in this case, the right side is my 5 volts and the left side is my ground. Alright, so this is the start, and now we are going to connect the real-time clock module into the breadboard. Alright, now once that's done, I am going to connect the I am going to connect the LED indicator and the resistor. Okay, and so finally I am going to connect the humidity sensor into the board Oop, be careful because this thing might snap and the data cable and uh, things to power the humidity sensor all right after that's all done make sure that the sd card you inserted into the device is formatted and ready to use the humidity sensor is plugged in make sure that all the connections are tight like this for example oh wait this is how far it goes then our next step is to actually upload the code into the arduino so let's do that let's do that all right so i am going to give you a tutorial and a breakdown of what's actually happening inside the code so first of all it we have to include the libraries so this is the lcd library this is the temperature and humidity module library the sd card library and the clock module library Everything in here is needed. So for this part, this is to initialize the LCD module. And these two lines are custom characters for percent and the Celsius symbol. This thing is to define the pin for the humidity sensor, humidity and temperature sensor, and, and adds an addition to it. 
this SD card module, uh, chip select, you have to enable 10 or where you pick, where you plug in your CS pin to the Arduino board. The clock module and the LED indicator light. Uh, for the clock module, this is not really necessary unless you actually want to tell the date. So first, let's start with the setup. So first, we begin the serial begin. Then we delay. This is not really necessary, but it's just to like let the system boot. We then print the the output, like the title of the output for the humidity and temperature sensor. We then wait another 1,000 seconds, and I then declare that this LED light is an output. So this is to initialize the LCD, LCD begin, LCD backlight, and LCD create character one percent. That's the, the custom characters we made right here. LCD uh, create char two cells. That's the other custom character. And now we move on to the SD card segment. So in this segment, we just have to initialize the SD card. And if everything is okay, then it should just say, it should just print in initialization done. Else, it's gonna find, it's gonna print out initialization failed. So for this clock module, it's gonna uh, start it. If the Arduino couldn't find the real-time clock module, it's gonna print couldn't find RTC. Or if anything else happens, it's gonna print out this. So what to put inside the loop? So I structured the what's supposed to be inside the loop as the humidity and temperature module, the clock module, the SD card module, and the LCD, but this is not really necessary if you're going to deploy it outside where it might get wet or the LCD is just too big. Okay, let's start with the initial. So this is the humidity and temperature module. So this, so what this thing does is basically just print in the serial, print the humidity, and it prints the humidity value, percentage, temperature, and the actual temperature. And this clock module prints out the time and the hours and the minutes and the seconds into the serial monitor. And for the SD card module, it opens it opens a file with this name in it. Uh, this could be set to whatever name you want. And inside that file, we, now we begin to print what we actually want to store in our data. So that being my file print hour dot now comma this indicates that it prints the hour and then uh, this semi this colon is just to partition the hour from the minute and from the minute from the second comma this is important because later once you import your data you would really appreciate to use a comma so because it's a comma separated value then we print out the humidity this data is taken from the sensor this sensor right here and comma again to separate the humidity from the temperature and if you've noticed it's dht.temperature so this is basically what the humidity and temperature sensor outputs then you close the file you have to make sure you close the file and serial print serial serial print new line but if anything else happens then it's gonna print out error opening the file so for the lcd module uh, it's important for me to set the cursor or else it's gonna keep overlapping I print LCD state recording just to indicate that oh, this this thing is actually working. And then I set cursor to zero one, so that indicates in my LCD it's going to be the bottom panel. Temperature, then the actual value of the temperature, comma zero. That indicates to have zero decimal places. Write two. So this is where the custom characters come in. And after that, it's LCD set cursor again. 8 1 so this is like 8 spaces to the right and 1 below it's gonna print humidity and the actual humidity value right here also with zero decimal places and LCD right 1 so this is the other custom character if uh, that custom character is a percentage and right now we write the LED like the we tell the LED to turn off and the delay so this delay is important for when, for how many times you want to record data in an hour. So, 1000 means one second. So, it records the data every second. But for example, you want 
400 data points or 300 data points then you could divide divide the amount of hours with the amount of data points and you'll get how many seconds you'll need to actually record it per second to get x amount of data points in that certain hour so just to show you guys what it looks like for the led to for the led to blink i'm just gonna put 1000 as i feel like 500 is too fast all right so after all of that is done we then proceed to import the date to upload the data into the arduino Alright, so this is basically what is going to be outputted in the serial monitor. Right after I click tools and mo serial monitor output. So since I set the delay earlier to one second, it's going to read the temperature and humidity sensor every second. And the actual time is going to be printed right, it's going to be printed right there. And right under the current time, it's going to be writing to data log. .txt, so it basically just tells me that oh it's writing into the SD card you don't really have to put that in in the serial monitor but personally I'd like to put it in just to tell me oh okay it's functioning it's functioning every time it it writes into the SD card module all right so now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like from the outside so after 24 hours of data logging inside my room or in wherever you decide to place, you'll get this text file. And you see this is a representation of the of the of what the Arduino has recorded over over time inside of my room for 24 hours. And right now I'm going to show you guys how to import this data into an Excel file and put it as a graph so you guys can analyze the fluctuations or whatever you actually need to do with the data. Alright, so first of all, uh, you have to open an Excel file, well clearly, and you go to this data tab right here on top. So you click that, then you click, you can either click get data from file, then from text or CSV. So CSV is comma separated values, or you can just click from CSV or text right beside from get data. So after you click the uh, uh, get data from text slash CSV or you just click the button directly from text to C or CSV, this thing should appear in your screen. So this should be all your data and I'm just going to click based on entire data set. The delimiter should be a comma and for file origin, I just leave that as it is. So after you're done with this, after you picked everything, then uh, your next step is to click load so now you have you have everything inside the excel sheet so it should be 24 hours let me just check and scroll all the way down oh no it's like pretty bad okay so it's okay it's basically 24 hours and I'm gonna go back up okay so now I am going to put all this data into a file into a graph sorry so insert I'd pick this graph scatter graph okay and you change your uh, graph uh, chart type to a line graph and with this and change the design whichever suits your needs stretch it a bit so now you'll you'll get the data you've been looking for and you can get a visual representation of your data all right so this is basically the arduino after i uploaded my code since the delay i set to be 1000 this led blinks every 1000 and so the humidity sensor records data to the sd card every single second and this indicates that it's recording. You see how the receiving light does not blink every second? Yeah, that's a problem. This is why I put this LED here just to indicate that oh, it's actually recording. So for the screen, I place that in on the circuit just to show you guys that it's actually recording and everything's working fine. So right now, for example, you don't want it plugged in into your computer. What I prefer to do is just take any power bank you have, plug it in, oh of course it's the other way, oh of course it's the other way again, plug it in, 
and use this DC barrel jack to plug in into your Arduino. Oop. And just plug this thing out. And now if you notice that the screen turns like this, that's because I'm pit uh, there's too much voltage or something, I'm not actually sure about that, but you can adjust the state of the screen by turning the knob in the back of the Arduino. So you adjust the potential ma potential meter in the back of the Arduino and the screen is back to normal just by adjusting this. So there you have it guys, uh, a deployable a deployable Arduino data logging circuit that records the humidity and temperature into this SD card for any period of time. Right. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.